Welcome to the fascinating world of traffic signals. Today, we are back out here at Woodrow Wilson in Jackson, Mississippi. We're pulling cable on these span intersections. This one, the next one over there, is another span intersection. We're getting cable pulled to both of those. Uh, we're gonna get this one done today. Not gonna be concerned with the other one because concrete just got approved, the mix design got approved, so we're gonna be pouring so a foundation for this week and hopefully setting up some stuff for next week. Uh, and then we are also having issues with the underground here at this intersection. I know I'm gonna have issues at the other intersection. Uh, what, what we have here, I got the cables to budge, but it just seems like a lot of these loop cables, everything is going into one conduit and it's just maxed out. So my plan is going to be the loops are already bad here. We're gonna be upgrading the loops to radars. So I'm gonna cut out every single loop cable, try to free up that conduit and then maybe we can even get some cables down the pole and into the cabinet and or leave it up there but know that we have a free clear pipe to use and that i don't need to get my guy with his boring company to come out here and shoot a bore right here uh so that's what we're gonna work on real quick is getting all this out and just leave the signal conductors and the main feet of power that's pretty much it that's gonna stay in here the rest of the cables i'm gonna try to rip out Oh, well, they even have some Opticom cables in here. We'll probably rip out as well because those are not being used here anymore. They're on, but we'll go ahead and kill them. They're not being used now because I just turned them off. And the rest of this stuff, we'll get this all kind of cleaned up and moved out. And then hopefully we got a freed up conduit for when we do do the enclosure swap and all the upgrades to the new signal heads and new cable. I might be working in here's five, so yeah flip a switch for that agree with jesse over there fuck five and then we're gonna go through and just cut all these loop cables Honestly, just come here and do it probably cut the wrong thing cable cutters would have been a lot quicker i don't know what you could have cut if you cut the wrong thing we had a uh, a tag reader it's actually kind of funny on one of the intersections down there on the coast bayview and i was a license plate reader and i just went to cut and everything that wasn't the new cable we pulled out there up in the air and just blew a hole in my clients so i was like dang what's down there and that was a two conductor they they used an old loop cable to hook up the tag reader too and just hooked up a constant power to it you gotta undo them all this this cabinet's getting junked we're throwing this dang thing away oh, are going back to the city but we ain't doing much with it this is probably hot let's stick a finger in there Ping. all right you want to just start ripping out yes sir go ahead Make sure to like and subscribe. Let's get right back into it. Got one more. Yep. I think it's the last one. Let's see. Yeah, no, them other ones are the hot cables coming into the cabinet. Make it go dark. Remove a cable and it's barely budging and it's one that you can kind of scrap. You can either, I like these little crimpers on here i will never crimp actual crimps or connections with them because they're not good for that they're useless on that end but you can take that cable put it in it'll hold it real good and then you can pull and get a grip on it or by hand get a lot more leverage out of it or by hand maybe ain't got enough to actually get the cable going but as you can see you can just keep sliding these pliers down and having the extra leverage and easily pulling that cable until it gets so tight that you'll break your your pliers at that point oh he's holding it dickhead <laughs> hey you want me to go ahead and put a straight on this or wait nah we can get a few out first right. see there's a lot of muck on it a lot of great work over there, man. oh yeah <laughs> don't think we're taking more than two or one at a time nah 
out of nowhere. Really just gotta get them moving. Hoping we'll get our stuff pulled back pretty easy though. Measurement of this, we cut it about two and a half feet in. Two, three almost. So we got about 18 feet plus the three at 21. And then, so coming out of that pool box, we need to have about 30 feet. I'd be happy with. Oh, I mean, 30 is even a little bit too much. Like 20, 30 feet would be good. I'd be happy with it coming out of this pool box and then over to here. You want for our signals that I've already laid? Well, yeah, I guess you already cut, so uh, it is what it is. But three of them we have. The three of them I want to do it right. Uh, I almost want to line up them with one of those coming out of that pool box. Right. Like leave one loop, we cut all the rest of the shit out of our way or whatever. But measure that for the, for the three so we're not wasting so much, if we are at all. Yeah. I think we are a little bit, but. It Might be a little bit. That. TW said he couldn't pull it. I came over to pull it, but he couldn't see which one was moving. If it was moving at all, it was. Yeah. It was nah, I'm with you. With you, with you. Uh, I'll go back to pulling. So he's got most of those loop cables cut and ready to be pulled out. This guy's already out. Still can't get a grip on anything most part got to put pliers in there let's see if we can get it started need a little more slack and again he's also got a string tied to one of the cables so when i pull one of them out I'm gonna have a string over here and that's what we can use to pull back our new cables once we actually empty out everything we're probably gonna have to with the pole situation and how much they're clogged up to drop all of our cables down we're gonna have to remove some of the old by the time it's all said and done if i can end up getting eight conductors what is it Good, go bathroom. Oh. That's another thing. And add this to your little, little show. Ask these fellas, is it right it's that people keep asking you, can I go to the bathroom? How often? A lot, brother. They do it a lot and don't understand. Find the best time to do it and go. You know what I've found with people that take a lot of bathroom breaks? Two things, I guess. They're either lazy or on drugs. So. I started making Brett leave his phone in this room. Oh, before he went to the bathroom? It so much time, dude. That decreased. Decreased, <laughs> dude, real quick. Went from 15-minute shit breaks to, <laughs> to five minutes. Yep. yep. Oh, yeah. And I ain't against it. Good on you asking the questions, by the way. I need to be doing that better in the videos yeah. because it gives a lot more interactions and comments and stuff like that. Right. When I do, and I always forget to. These loop cables I'm ripping out are gonna be jumping into this pool box and then jumping into this pole, running up the pole and going to each pole around this intersection. And then the loops will be cut, home run over to the poles. They'll either splice them in the bottom of the pole or they'll have a pool box over to the side where those, where these two conductors and four conductors will land at with them. And then they'll be able to solder and splice on the inductive loop to the conductor coming all the way back to the cabinet but we are gonna be doing radars here. So we're not gonna utilize any of that. And we're gonna pull a new cable and install a new vehicle detection here at all of these intersections. Uh, this one, the next one, and the next one after that. And this little, little intersection down here in front of this school. We're gonna be doing new detection upgrades, new signals, new cabinets, pretty much a whole nine yards. Some of them new foundations, like a whole mast arm upgrade over there, adding a mast arm over here so on and so on uh but that's that's what we're doing on a lot of these or these intersections here on this job let's go ahead i cut these opticom cables they're routed back here hopefully i won't get shocked by all this crap in here but i'm gonna take 
that guy off too and that'll be another one we'll pull out but i can tie a string on to one of these opticom cables get it pulled out to that first pull box and then we'll have string here to the cabinet I have a string from this pool box to the next pool box and we'll be ready to rock and roll again won't really be able to get this cable down and over i'd like to pretty much coming down to just the eight or the seven conductors that are in there now but i'm telling you these poles oh, they got trash in them junk in them i don't even know what this guy is i don't even know if i want to touch anything that's just somebody's lunch that ain't that bad i guess some stuff we may well, we could possibly make enough room but we're adding in thicker cables bigger cables and our weather head's pretty packed you can already tell that bottom thing is already cut out plastics cut out to have all that fit in there all right this is the cable with the string on it so as i'm pulling i'm just watching our string go in making sure Hopefully not gonna get hung up on any good knots or anything like that. One just went in. But that's why there's a little extra tension on this guy. So this mule tape is going in pretty smooth and it's out already. So come over here, use our scissors, cut it, and we can get this guy tied off to something. So I'll do that here in a second. As long as somebody else comes over here and starts messing with things, we should be good. But I'll definitely get that tied off. And then same, we'll come over here, we'll cut this string and get it tied off. Uh, or we'll just take this knot out here. Hands are getting filthy. And a bit of a water bottle for the time being. That can't fit into our pipe, but I want the string out my way. Just tie it to the bottom. I know guys gloves would be smart to wear huh so what i can tell all of our loop cables have been pulled out from this direction going over we'll get them all pulled out of the pole itself they're still working on the cable up top i'm going to attach this string over to one of these opticom cables yes sir they're good hope they're hope they are at least but i could take these opticom cable now i'm going to attach a string to this opticom cable and then when i pull it through the string will follow through with it and we will be good to go having string from this cabinet to the first pull box so i'm gonna tie some string on real quick string attached to the op opticom cable here so now we can get these ones pulled back into the pool box, get the string pulled into the pool box. ATW, come over here real quick. I'm got, I got four cables for you to pull out of this pool box from the cabinet. <clears throat> Which ones are you talking about? The ones that are coming back out. Yeah, but yeah, we'll, we'll get on to that in here in a second. So, I mean, you probably ain't got a lot of slack on them, but I think you were just pulling on one. Yeah, go ahead. Now I'm sending the string through. And he'll have string coming out. We'll have an entrance into the cabinet. You get the string. Okay. Go ahead. We got two more of these small cables. Oh, look, Air Force One. Kamala, is that you? She's like, I grew up here. Do what? <laughs> uh, cut it and tie it to that water bottle. Oh boy, free drugs. <laughs> yeah, that fentanyl gets in there. I don't have my food. Whatever people take for <laughs> Quick, get the Narcan. That's what it is, Narcan. I don't have my Narcan on black spray paint yeah, so you could playing a man. game of yeah, probably i wouldn't doubt it hide the random objects what's inside the signal pole 
Man. Is that a lug? Man, that don't feel right, whatever that is. Okay, don't touch it. <laughs> For a thumbnail, dude, I honestly okay. should put my Glock in there and act like I pulled a Glock out. Like, oh my God, guys! Fuck, what's in here? I got a minor weapon in Jackson while working over traffic. Yeah. I'll just Photoshop one into the. Call the cops. <laughs> You'll never believe what we found in this pole. Hey, man, that's clickbait. Damn, dude, there are ants. All over that. Here you go. You get your gloves. Or get my hand gloves. Uh, I would go put. I got some black gloves in my back seat. I think the passenger side back seat underneath the seat itself. Go find a handful or go get some of those. I wouldn't keep your hand in there, or the mants will start getting up your arm. All right, we'll start. Another fucking blow off that. These cheap ass Walmart jeans. The pants. Damn, yeah, I'll pull the cable in there. She's like, come on, pull harder. I'm like, so fucking up. I'll, I'll rip my pants. Oh, Working out the, the shipyard in one of the days, man, my, like the front side of my pants, the whole fucking just ripped. Six, like 6.30 in the morning too, ripped wide open so I have the full day ahead. I mean, I just duct taped my crotch for the most part. I was like, all right, I mean, just cover it up. Line of war underwear today. All right, real quick. I'm gonna go over there and then there's a few of these cables. You can start pulling out these two small ones and. From which way? The other way? From over there. So, and I'm gonna get you. Hold on. All four of these cables you should be able to pull out. Oh no. You said you couldn't pull earlier. I wanna make sure you can pull now. Oh, I thought you said over there. No, no, you're gonna pull them out that direction. cut them down a little bit for him. Now you can go ahead and start ripping them out. Yeah, there you go. Hold on. Yeah, you got one of the right ones. Go ahead. All four of them ones I grabbed earlier, start ripping them out. Yeah, they're cut over here now. You're good. Rip. They are. Wow. I'm, I'll verify. You don't want to. They're all, they're all over that cable you're rubbing your arm on. Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, half the pole is an amp pile right now. So. That's why we're going to dump a bunch of ant killer in it and erase them, hopefully. Actually, be on the last one. Take your hand out of there. Uh, oh, there's a two inch going as well. Okay. We'll probably tie a string or something into it. Actually, I'm kind of curious where this two inch is going. Is this the one over to here? Couldn't tell. It didn't look like it was moving from here. Nor do I think there's a two inch in this thing. Uh uh. Well, they're coming out of a three. I go across the street, today. Man, it'd be kind of weird. Go to the cabin, not across the street. I went to the cabin. There is. We'll look in there real quick. Yeah, I hear it. I see it, but I don't see it. But I hear it. I'm gonna try pulling again. So let's keep a couple of those in there so we have something to pull out and pull back in. We'll cut those. All the ones you got out, you may want to pick up your leg right now and wipe your, your leg. You got a bunch of ants on you. Getting the bucket truck back up over here, and what we're gonna do, you know, finish getting the cable kind of right there in the middle at this pole, have it all rolled up real nice and neat, and then we're gonna go up there and tape it and tie it with some mule tape, and just have it tied up to the span for now until we can rip out all this old, and then drop down the new cable, get it pulled back into these pull boxes and back into the cabinet. So that's what we're gonna work on. And then at that point, this intersection, the cable will have been pulled. Got a man slapping out of bus. So I just wanna go home.
this while they continue working on what they're working on getting them cables all tightened up and set up right i'm gonna go try to check out a different area where we got to get a conduit across the road and i want to utilize some existing work and a gas contractor is back filling a hole now at while it's exposed if i get this conduit in there it's going to make our lives that much easier all right so i'm at the area we got to do a ped base right here their gas line they just reinstalled is right here we already know where it's at our base is supposed to go right here but what we can end up doing uh i don't even know if this is already four foot wide but we can end up widening out the sidewalk having their gas line directly underneath that and then we'll do our base right here that will make it all work out but unfortunately they had all of this on it are exposed we got a pool box here already has a two inch conduit running to a pool box we need to go to that cabinet i want to utilize that but we're gonna have to re-dig up all of this and even trench in a pipe i was hoping they maybe still had it open but they've already finished up here and no, I heard them right on the phone, I guess, gravel they used. Doesn't feel like terrible washed rock though. So I don't think it's gonna be the worst thing in the world to dig, but we're gonna dig up this pool box here, add in our pipe and just have to trench in a pipe and bring it on over here. And then if we get it set right here, I'm gonna do my base here. We'll extend this sidewalk out and we'll do a pedestrian head right here. And that will go across the street then i want to say the other one is going to just go onto that mast arm pole there we're just going to add that onto that pole so simple enough on that side and then over here i already see it looks like a rainbow around here on all of this stuff uh but we do have to get a bore from this pool box to about 160 feet and kind of see my caution tape there but i got to go to this side of the road and then bore underneath and go over to where you see my caution tape and my cones at over there. And we're gonna install a mast arm and some pedestrian stuff over there. I think I got some ants on my feet. <sighs> well, that sucks. There's a lot of extra work now, digging that back up. And now we, we gotta worry about their gas line. They just redid when it was all exposed. But that's what we get paid to do. So we'll be out here to do that later on, not this week for the most part and for the most part sorry it's only like a half day video that's because i had to do some stuff this morning run down to hattiesburg do a few different things and then come back up so i've been off site for the majority of the day but my guys did great they got that intersection pulled wish they got a little bit more but that is what it is anytime i leave i, I don't expect as much to get done so fine with that but anyways, I do appreciate y'all for watching, and I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll catch y'all tomorrow or next time. Bye.